So, welcome everybody to 2016 and our new series, uh, Paranormal Theories. It'll be with me and... Alan, that's me. So, Alan and I, Keegan, uh, will be hosting the series. So, uh, each week we'll try to give you guys some hot paranormal theories going around the web. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's our actual theories, but we just wanted to bring it to you. Uh, so, this week we're looking at a... Interdimensional Bigfoots. Uh, it's a kind of a new topic to us. We've never actually heard of it. And I only heard of it because of uh, this book, Bigfoot, uh, by Tom Burnett and Rob Riggs. Uh, now, Alan, what do you think about this whole thing? Like, what did you take away from it? Now, well, to start with, I had never really heard the theory of interdimensional Bigfoots until Keegan actually brought it up to me because of the book. And to me, I mean, I believe in a lot of things, but that's just a little too far-fetched for myself. But, you know, anything is worth looking at at least once. Yeah, I mean, at some point you got to wonder, is it just trying to make up an excuse for why we don't find bodies and stuff like that? I, I, I think a lot of it is just kind of people trying to grasp at straws and come up with things out of thin air. Does that mean I don't believe in Bigfoot? Not necessarily, but... The whole interdimensional Bigfoot thing is just a little bit far, far-fetched. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, how would a being be able to kind of travel through dimensions without some sort of device? And that's what a lot of them are saying: is the Bigfoots use uh, the dimensions to hide from the people. Either that, or they say they're also kind of like psychic, and they can kind of make you see through them, see what's behind them. And that's kind of another thing that might be a little far-fetched to me as well. I know when I try to talk to some of the Bigfoot experts about it, they didn't seem very into this idea either. They're more of the flesh and blood Bigfoot. If it's real, it's like a Gigantopithecus or something like that. Or even a Neanderthal. I think that would be a better explanation. Um, now, when you were reading about this stuff, what did you find about beings being able to travel back and forth? Now, there was uh, one thing I had read, and it kind of didn't necessarily stick with just the whole Bigfoot being interdimensional theory. It was uh, kind of a theory that uh, all beings are almost interdimensional in the fact of not necessarily that they can jump dimensions during their life, but they go to different dimensions when they die. And it was it was almost kind of a... almost like an afterlife theory, like kind of based on ghosts and things like that there is there could be residual effects left over but it's not necessarily residual it is a loop from another dimension being played over and over which would make sense if it's an extinct type of ape uh being maybe the gigantopithecus from asia or even the neanderthals which it bears they do bear resemblance to neanderthal people um another theory when i read the book was that they uh they can manifest themselves into orbs and stuff like that. And through ghost hunting, I know back in the early 2000s, orbs were seen as spirits. But now with research, they're just viewed as just balls of electricity. And they do come across in like uh, Bigfoot sightings and UFO sightings. But do you think they'd be able to manifest into orbs? Personally, again, for me, that just seems a little bit too much. Unless we are looking at it from a more... Uh, spiritual residual effect then it wouldn't even necessarily be uh, Bigfoot so to speak it would be you know the spirit of whatever you're seeing you know just energy being formed from that spirit whatever is left yeah and there's as far as the nether dimension they could be like aliens is what some people are saying and that's the UFO connection some people say UFOs and Bigfoots are uh, sighted at the same time and I guess you could see that, but, I mean, do you think aliens or time travel or something like that? It, I, I don't know. I, I guess I could see it to a point of just, you know, we, we really have no idea. So, I mean, it honestly could be, but, again, me personally, I'm kind of a flesh and bone kind of person. I'd like to see actual hard proof on something, regardless of which way that proof might point. And to me, that just seems a little science fiction for me to push towards. Yeah, and the whole time travel aspect, it's very hard to even... I mean, because time doesn't really exist if you look at it. It's something man-made. 
and it's possible to go into the future like if you go into space for a long amount of time you'll actually come back the same age but everything else would have advanced multiple years decades so I don't really see that as a case um, yeah so that one the psychic Bigfoots those kind of things I just doesn't make sense um, what I mean in Native American lore what do they say about Bigfoots and that kind of stuff well, Bigfoot isn't really necessarily like a North American kind of uh, Native American kind of deal, really. I mean, I, I'm Navajo mostly, and that's not really anything that comes across in Navajo culture or even Cherokee necessarily. Um, but they'd probably look at it more as like a spiritual uh, holy being yeah. instead of something that's necessarily... Um, interdimensional or anything like that yeah and that's kind of what they said in the book was native americans viewed him as like a spiritual like deity almost like a yeah like almost a leader god kind yeah. of thing something with powers i mean i mean if you guys ever uh watch this on youtube or hear this on a sharing stream and you have come across these dimensions these portals where apparently bigfoot's going in and out of let us know because we'd love to see it with our own eyes I mean, we're always about pushing forward and trying to learn new stuff, and I mean, whichever way that takes us, we'll we'll try to follow that trail and see what we come to. Yeah, so I guess until next time, uh, interdimensional Bigfoots this week, I think, what's next week's topic going to be? Skinwalkers? Oh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to try and tell you guys a little bit about skinwalkers, and then uh, hopefully stay tuned and we can keep you guys interested. Yeah, in 2016, we have a couple new shows that we're going to start. Uh, do you want to tell them about your show? Uh, I'm going to actually try to start doing a show called Abandoned Colorado. It's not necessarily anything revolving around the paranormal. It's just uh, kind of cool old things with a lot of history that... That can tie you know, in with that, the paranormal. That could yeah. come across with paranormal, but that isn't necessarily centered around the paranormal. Yeah, and then my show is going to be Paranormal History, where we go around and try to tell you uh, the history stories through our investigation. So... Hopefully you'll check those out and check this one out next week. But until next time, we're signing out.